London Breed returned to her roots to deliver her official victory speech today. KPIX5 political reporter Melissa Kane reports she also got candid about her priorities. Melissa? That's right. Today, London Breed spoke at the elementary school she attended. There, she reflected on her incredible journey and mapped out what's ahead. Yes, I'm your mayor. While she won't be sworn in for another few weeks, today London Breed vowed to be a leader on difficult issues. The hard decisions around reforming our mental health system so that people we know are struggling on the streets who are clearly not in their right minds, they get the help and the support that they need. During the campaign, she called for the creation of safe injection sites for drug users, and today she promised to follow through. As mayor, I plan to make them a reality. And it's not just about making it easy for people to use drugs. It's about treatment on demand. It's about making sure people have a real chance at getting the help and the support that they need. And standing in the auditorium of her old elementary school, she said she was tired of seeing her friends priced out of the city. We have to build more housing. We have to build more housing. We have to build more housing. And I will be relentless in my pursuit to get the job done. We have to make changes to our bureaucratic process that gets in the way of housing production in San Francisco. Breed grew up with her grandmother in the Plaza East housing projects. Crime-ridden and dilapidated, they were torn down in 1998. And today she acknowledged that her life story is unique. But, she says, it shouldn't be. And as mayor, I want to change what is normal in this city. I want to change the future. I want to change what is possible for the next generation. Their normal will not be hanging out selling drugs on the block. Their normal will be college. Their normal will be to live in the city. Their normal will be paid internships when they are in high school. Mayor-elect Breed clearly has big plans for the city, but she says her first order of business will be the budget. She wants more academy classes for the police department and resources to deal with tent encampments. I am so honored and I am so humble and I am so grateful to the voters of the city and county of San Francisco for entrusting in me such an important responsibility to lead one of the best cities in the world. One of the best cities? I don't know, she may have to practice that. We're gonna, we have to say San Francisco's number one. Now the plan is for Bree to be sworn in on July 11th, and at that point she'll have to pick a replacement for her seat on the Board of Supervisors, and so far she's not saying who that person will be. She's got some time. So before the election, we heard a lot about ranked choice voting. Mark Leno, Jane Kim, vote for us one and two. How did that actually play in to get her elected? Well, you know, it's really hard to know. This is going to be something we're going to be talking about for a while. The voting results, which are almost complete, show that about 20,000 people didn't vote for London Breed or Mark Leno. They voted for some combination of the other candidates. And for those people, for example, a runoff would have given them an opportunity to look at those final two and cast a vote. You know, or not, because we really don't know what would have happened in a runoff. We have a close race with just a few thousand votes separating the two, so there are going to be years of debate over what role ranked choice voting played here, and even the bigger debate over whether to keep it as a voting system. Well, one thing's for sure, we're going to be voting again in the city of San Francisco for, for mayor. Uh, yes, soon. we will. We're, that's Very right. Soon. In yeah. 18 months. Right. So we'll, uh, we'll have a lot more conversations about go. RCV around that as well. I'm okay. sure. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks.